So, morning YouTube. How are we doing? Welcome to today's instalment. The day in the life as they, uh, as they call it. So that's what today's video is. As you would have seen how I kick the day off. You would have saw the growth hormone going in, my anti-insulin going in, followed by supplementation, and then getting obviously the caffeinated beverage ready. I'm getting a walk on whilst I sip on my hydration. So 1.5 liters boxed off onto the second 1.5 litre and then onto the journal which is what I wanted to talk about just to spread a little bit of the mental health awareness I suppose. So the journal has been a massive part of my life for probably four years now when it got introduced to me. It's a real nice opportunity just to, just to get your head straight for the morning. It means to keep yourself grounded, keep your perspectives clear and try to blank out the noise of, of life along the way whilst hopefully putting some awareness onto you know, your own feelings and, and what's making you feel a certain way. So the way in which I personally am, am doing my journal at this moment in time, you know, and this is personal and it's gonna grow and look different for you know, everyone along the way. Uh, but for me personally, the first question I will ask myself is simply, how am I feeling today? So I aim to reflect how I'm feeling, put that onto, onto paper, and then I'll actually start to tap into perhaps why am I feeling a certain way as well. And so we can start to piece together, just bringing, you know, as they say, when, you know, a problem shared is a problem halved, right? So sometimes just bringing how you feel into the room can, can make you feel a lot better. And then I move into, so what's become a bit of a, a bit of a cliche, sadly, but something that's still which I do every day, which is, which is gratitude. So it's not just like a list of things like house, car. As time goes on, I've expanded that more into kind of like a free flowing, you know, power graph, you know, explaining why I'm grateful for something and just allowing that to, to sort of flow and try to keep it varied based on the last 24 hours instead of just like the, the easy pickings ones. But the easy picking ones are always a nice way to kick things off, you know, grateful for having a, a warm house, for example. Um, but then getting more into your interpersonal relationships, you know, a specific thing in the day. Um, the goal from this really is that by us bringing the things that we're grateful for into the room, we're gonna see more things to be grateful for. So using the, the example of, you know, you ever had a, a car which you suddenly really like the look of and all of a sudden all you do is you just see that car all the time. So sort of the idea with, with seeking gratitude is that our, you know, our radar's on to see things to be more grateful for, which is a positive feeling. That's what it all comes back to. So but us, you know, just saying that I want to see things that I can be grateful for now. The idea is as the day goes on, you know, the things that don't matter won't come up as much. Whereas if you're focusing on things that are negative or you're comparing yourself constantly, all you're gonna see is things that are gonna feed what you've kind of put in out there. So that's kind of the, the, the spiritual slash emotional aspect of actually why we do it, as well as in the moment, just bringing us to focus on things that we have got instead of things that we haven't. And then lastly, we do affirmations slash sort of goal setting, but we always make sure that when we're goal setting that we affirm that we have it instead of affirming that we don't have it. So similar to you know, what we decide we want to see, we're gonna see more of. You know, what the last thing we wanna say is, oh, I really want to have this, I really want to have that, because by you affirming that you want it, that's only affirming that you don't have it. So an example for myself, this is obviously a personal thing, but I'm kind of allowing this to you know, open up for the, for the YouTube, maybe to help people. But every day for the last four years, I've told myself that I'm an IFBB pro. So I'm putting the feelers out that these opportunities and moments, I'm gonna have that headspace and act as if I am one in the bid to, of course, hopefully become one. And so I just really wanted to, to go through that on a little bit more of a personal note. Now it is time for meal one. So the time has just gone past 6 a.m. So I get up at 4.55 uh, Monday through uh, Friday and then we will start catching up with the squad team with check-ins. So I always do my check-ins in the morning and then we will begin to prepare to train. So time for meal one and get into work mode. And here we are. We are on the way to the gym. Time is one o'clock. So for me, I will have three meals before I train. So that offers a little opportunity just to take a break from work. So during that, you know, I'll sit with a meal. If you've watched the what I eat in a rest day, you'll see that that's um, how I like, manage my day. From like, like a week, weekly perspective, check-in days for me run Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So for me personally, I always like to make sure that I've got all the check-ins done for the day prior to heading out to train. So at this point now, obviously everyone's got their feedback, you know, they're watching it when they get a moment as well. And then of course, getting back to me. So in terms of my workflow, you know, I'll then go to the gym. I'll then check my phone on the, on the treadmill for five, 10 minutes, go through those responses. And then I get my head in the game to train. You know, then that's, you know, no phones other than the logbook, being present with the session, making sure me and JB are making the most out of that. And then post-workout is when, ooh, hey, there we go. Treadmill again, or if I'm doing my cardio, which I am at the moment. And then it's about a half an hour drive home for me. So I tend to get home around 4.30 to 5 p.m. at this time. So it's when I'll go through the final set of responses for the day and then to switch off and, and have some downtime for the evening. Also consider, you know, we've got to put up time aside to create posts, to write posts, engage in social media, media, Q and A's, you know, recording this sort of stuff, organizing this sort of stuff as well. Generally for me, I'll always try to make sure that Sunday, you know, I allocate that time for obviously Beth and just to chill as much as we possibly can. Cause I think the one thing, you know, if anyone, you know, it can be really hard to get that balance right. So that's why for me personally, the check-in days will finish on a Friday. Then obviously we'll have response and conversations throughout Saturday. And then generally for clients as well, you know, Sunday's also their opportunity for most people to see their family, friends and loved ones. So they get that opportunity as well, instead of having a check-in on a weekend. And then all they're doing is thinking about the process over the weekend. So that's kind of how I found my feet very deep into this now as well, of course. But you know, that's how I found sort of my flow state, which can still allow me to train, allow me to be the best coach I can possible from an availability standpoint so we are now obviously on the way to the gym and so we will show you around a little bit and then catch up after maybe during I'm not too sure yet I haven't decided yet so I better drive safe I'll see you there Whoa. here we are then in the absolute mecca so in terms of like gyms down south majestic and uh, also South Coast Powerhouse. And then uh, there's Primitive as well, but I think it's like a closed membership, but definitely come and check out Majestic if you're ever down south and uh, give South Coast Powerhouse a, a go as well. All right, so we will wrap up today's video. It is just gone past half three, so we had a good session today, of course. So the rest of the day, as I mentioned now, is get the post-workout meal in, uh, sit once I've eaten the meal, go through replies, catch up with everyone, chill, then I'll write a post up, and then it'll be time for dinner, around six or seven. So one last final sort of reply, have din-dins, and then get ready to do it all again tomorrow so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop it a like as always help this little newbie channel grow and i will catch you in the next one peace